stay indoors in upstate New York and Vermont. Just sitting back and enjoying the stunning scenery in this region feels like an adventure in and of itself. But when you're ready to take it up a notch, there are countless ways to connect with nature that'll give a whole new meaning to a bird's eye view. So honey, if you're talking about outdoor adventures, where I come from is right. really it's the perfect place where it's it. at. Yeah. yeah, Vermont and upstate New York. We're gonna show off a bit for you guys. We're gonna take you to Lake Placid. We're gonna go over to Vermont, the Queechee Gorge area. Amazing, check out some birds of prey. Looking for the ultimate think... lakeside retreat where you can spend all day playing in the mountains and then relax in the lap of luxury? Well, look no further than White Face Lodge in the heart of the Adirondacks. Set on the shores of Lake Placid, it was built to mirror the Adirondack Great Camps, which were rustic outposts built in the region during the latter half of the 19th century. This is a great outdoor destination. Uh, people come up here to hike, a lot of swimming, okay. canoeing, kayaking. Uh, yeah, a lot of lot of outdoor activities. We see people at breakfast, and we may not see them again until dinner. Start your day's adventure at the resort's outdoors headquarters, the Canoe Club, where you'll keep your inner child entertained with some old-fashioned games like badminton and croquet. Then hit the courts for some basketball or tennis. Mm. And when you're ready to do a lap around the lake, just hop on one of the kayaks or canoes provided right at the club, or tour Lake Placid from the lodge's 30-foot wooden hacker craft. Even lunch is an alfresco adventure here. Chef Doug grills up specialties like the spicy fennel sausage sandwich with peppers and onions. I like the fennel in the sausage. Or sink your teeth into the barbecue baby back ribs or boneless beef short ribs, both coated in mouth-watering maple barbecue sauce made from local maple syrup, of course. Oh, the food is just incredible. With so much to enjoy, you'll never want the afternoon to end. Luckily, the evening gets even better with the ultimate in outdoor fun, a bonfire. The Lodge's daily campfire classic comes complete with roast your own s'mores and storytelling. It's a s'more Sasquatch. In the mood for something a bit more sophisticated? Well, then kick back in one of the lean-tos and enjoy the nightly cigar and cognac service. It's the great outdoors done up in high style. For a hands-on, high-flying adventure, set your sights to the sky at the Vermont Institute of Natural Science, known as VINS. The Institute is set on 47 acres just to the west of New England's natural wonders, the Queechy Gorge. VINS is a nonprofit organization that's been around since 1972. Our mission is to motivate individuals to care for the natural world through research, education, and avian rehabilitation. Look at that little guy. This is uh, the smallest falcon in the U.S. Oh, my God. Oh, it's adorable. What is he saying? He's begging food. Oh. Food, food, food. Yeah, somebody found him when he was young, brought him in their home, raised him, and now he thinks he's a human. Oh. Today, he's, today he's getting rabbit. No, are you looking for what? Hello. So Who these are a wow. couple other of our program birds. And uh, the first one here is one of the largest owls in North America. It's beautiful. Yeah. Wow. And then this is one of the more common raptors in the states here. Aren't you beautiful? This one yes. gets its name from a uh, nice little colorful part of its body that Kristen will show you there. That, Look at that. Rusty red tail. She actually can still fly. A lot of her birds have what we call limited flight. Um, but they, they just can't fly she well can enough fly. to survive. Yeah, in a limited fashion. It's actually a good stimulus. It keeps her active and not just being a perch potato. So. A perch potato. Yeah. Instead of a couch potato. <laughs> well. So we have kind oh. of two different types of birds here. We have the program birds that you just met three of. These are birds that uh, basically don't get on the glove for the most part. This is one of the very few exceptions. She is a lot of people's favorite bird. Oh, they're so precious. Yeah. And we get to the big ones. That's still a bird? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not a prehistoric it's something? Like a dinosaur. Oh. Wow. Bald eagle. Hey, man, I've seen you on money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These are birds that were uh, in a tree. Someone up in Waterbury, Vermont, cut the tree down. We found the young ones. Oh. And uh, we took care of them. And now we're ready, ready to, to let them go. Yep. How exciting. This is what we're so, doing right now. Yep. Hi, you're looking for a worm, aren't you? Ah, oh, that's cool. Okay, one, two, three, fly! <laughs> there he goes. Yay. So there we go. Very nice.